All right, in this video, uh, we're going to continue looking at uh, GeoGebra. It's a free uh, computer software to analyze functions. So in the last video, we graphed this function f of x, which is in green, and then we typed in f prime of x in the input bar to graph uh, the derivative, f prime, which is graphed here in red. So one nice feature of GeoGebra is once you've defined a function or a derivative, maybe you want to work with other functions, Instead of deleting these, if we want to keep these stored, we could just click the circle next to it and notice the derivative disappeared. Or I can make the function disappear, or vice versa. So I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to keep the f of x here, and we'll keep f prime here. That's a nice feature. One other thing to notice, at the top you have all these options right here. The move button is how to select and, and drag objects. Like if I want to move the, the, the label of each graph, uh, if you want to move the background, you want to click on this button right here, Move Graphics View, and then I could click and drag this around. So usually, uh, for, for the most part, for this lab at least, you're going to stick with these two functions on the top, or these two options on the top. Okay, so what I want to show you in this video is how to solve, how to use the CAS system, the computer algebra system in GeoGebra to solve functions. So I first want to solve when does f of x equal 0? Let's get rid of f prime. So I'm looking for these uh, x intercepts right here. Looks like zero better be one of them. And negative one point something and two point something right here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna solve this function by clicking on view at the top. If you have a view button and CAS. CAS is for computer algebra system. And in here, I'm gonna just start typing solve. And you get a solve here equation in x. I'm going to click on that, and the equation I want to plug in is f of x equals 0. So don't forget the equals 0. If I click enter, then it gives me all of my solutions. So I get minus 1.54, 0, 2.67, and 3.64. So those are all my solutions for the function f of x equals 0. I'm going to see if that matches up. I've got minus 1.54. It's about here. 0, 2.67, 2 and 2 thirds. And then I've got 3.68 as this last x intercept. Okay, so that gives us all the solutions for f of x equals 0. So if you want to solve f prime equals 0, and we're going to call these critical values, I'm going to click on solve. I could just, once uh, I get the option underneath, I could just click enter and type in f prime of x equals zero. And here I get three values, minus 0.91, 1.28, and 3.22. So if I make this bigger, again, this is when the derivative equals zero. So I'm going to click on the red. So notice the derivative equals zero is about minus 0.1. So right here about 1.28 right here in the red graph and then 3.22 a little bit greater than 3. Also notice as part of our calculus class when the derivative equals 0 oftentimes that leads to a relative minimum right here a relative max and then another relative minimum. Okay all right so once we've solved this f prime equals 0 the last step is I want to evaluate the derivative at each of its critical points. Oh, excuse me, I don't want to evaluate the derivative. I'm going to change that to just f of x. So let's just evaluate f of x. What is the actual function value, the green function, at each of its critical points? So essentially what I want to know right here is right here at, f, at x equals minus 0.91. That's when the green curve, excuse me, the red curve goes to the x-axis. What is the value of the green curve? That is a relative minimum right here. Okay, so to do that, I could keep uh, in the CAS, the CAS, just type F parentheses minus 0.91. And if you click enter in CAS, it's always going to try to give you a, a rational number, a fraction as much as possible, but that's kind of nonsensical to us. So to turn that to decimal, I could type numeric. You get numeric expression, and I'll then type F parentheses minus 0.91, and we get a minus 0.62. So 
So right here, this relative minimum would be at x equals minus 0.91, and the value of the green function would be about minus 0.61. Another way to get that would be an input bar. If I, I could just type f parentheses minus 0.91. Same thing I typed up here in the row three. Click enter, and then instead of the cast in the algebra system, it's going to give you the number. So I have either option here. I could keep plugging these in the cast, or if I want to write an input bar, f of the next critical value is 1.28. Click on enter at 1.28, then the height of that would be about 0.79 right here. And then lastly, f parentheses 3.22. And that's going to be right here at this critical value when the red line goes through zero green curve, we have a relative minimum value at 3.22, and the height would be minus 0.22.